In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change disks or disk images for the RetroArch uh, emulation platform. So right now, I'm running it right now. I'm going to try to run a program. So I'm going to try to run Wing Commander 3. And I'm going to show you the problem that I have with it. And I'll resolve the problem as well. As you can see, it's starting right now. No problem. But I'm going to run into a problem because I put in disk 3 instead of disk 1. Because disk 1 is how you start the game. So if you put disk 2, 3, or 4 in there, it's going to tell you to insert disk 1. Which is going to show up. It's going to tell me to insert disk 1, so I press F1, go back here, and go to disk, control, and I eject the disk. However, I cannot sub select any other disk. It says only disk, current disk index is 1. So we have to fix this problem. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to close this content. exit quit retro arc and I'll be making a playlist file a dot m3u file to resolve this issue so my PlayStation games are here the one that I was running was called Wing Commander 3 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up um, notepad Just like so. Go back to that directory. So this is the file that I have to run. See what kind of file this is. It's a .cue file as you can see. Press F2, Control C, copy that in there, Control V to copy that, and put the extension in there, .cue. I'm going to do that for all of them. Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V, F2, Control C, Control V, dot CUE, dot CUE, dot CUE. Now I'm going to save this file. See where that is? Control C. Go here, control V, this is where the files are. I'm gonna put all files on there. And I'm gonna type in the name of the thing. Just this part, not the disks. Control V dot M3 U. And again, all files. Save. Now I did that. This is a file that I want to select when I run this program. I'll start RetroArch again. And I want to go back there. Just this time I want to load a content. E drive, find out where that file is maybe different on your uh, your end but on your computer or filing system
with Commander 3. I want to make sure I select, okay, there it is. Select the right emulator, start it. It should run. What I'm going to do right now is press F1. And I'm going to change, try to change this. Go to disk menu. Disk control, I'm sorry. Eject disk. Now I have access to indexes, which, which is from 1 to 4, the 4 disks that I entered. The first disk in the list is, of course, disk 1. 2 is disk 2. 3 is disk 3. 4 is disk 4. So let's say I selected that. And I insert that in there. And we're going to have the same problem as I did before. But this time I will be able to change the disk. Yeah, we seem to be having a problem here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this down, close this. PlayStation 3, PlayStation 1. So. I'm going to change this around a little bit. Maybe I'll put this 2 as a first disc. Maybe I'll do that. This to the CUE. It's four. Disc one would be at number four. But that's how I'll be doing it. In Commander three dot M three. You delete that and we'll restart it. Content. This is what I'll be running with PlayStation. So this too is loaded. I'm going to have the same problem as I had before. It's going to tell me that uh, insert disk one and I'll be doing that. Now it's looking for disk one. It's not in there. So now I go to F1, press F1. Go to disk control, eject the disk. And like I said, disk one is in number four. Insert the disk. And now let's run it. And it should run.
Yeah, as you can see now, the game's running because I put it into disc one. That's it. So I'm gonna press F1. It's content. And that's it. Anyways, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.